there are people in the low country saying that they believe Burke High School has been cast in a negative light after a recent published report. News 2's Lexi Moore joins us live from downtown Charleston. And Lexi, some people are saying that a Memorial Day block party in which there was a shooting and injured 10 people involved a former Burke High School student, and now that association has defamed the school. That's right, Carolyn and leaders say they're worried that the shooting and the media attention afterwards has overshadowed the school's achievements and their historic values. 31 year old Del Javon Simmons was once a quarterback at Burke and a port point guard for the school's basketball team. He's charged with five counts of attempted murder and one count of possession of a weapon during the commission of a violent crime. Activists say the shooting has nothing to do with the values of the school and says the school stands for more than just a negative newspaper article. We fought and we continue to fight because we're not going to let our historically black institutions, no matter what the neighborhood around them begins to look like, we're not going to give up on the foundation that they were built on. And it's not the bricks or the ground. It's the blood, sweat and tears of the humans who went there. And community activists say they're also worried that the Charleston County School District has plans for shutting down the school and using it for other purposes. And I reached out to the school district and they tell me there are no plans to do that. Reporting live in downtown Charleston, I'm Lexi Moore, Kennel 2.